DJ Uri. Yo, it's your boy, Goddammit Dupree, man. And I'm rocking with my boy, DJ Uwe, on Make Him Say Uwe. The mics is hot. The mics is hot. Um, first and foremost, I want to dedicate all my shows to my fallen relatives and my fallen homies. Um, long live Cedric the Motive, long live Sean Mack, long live Sonny Mack, Grandma Bull Show Show. But it's about that time. Oh, we live. We live. We back. We live. I want everybody to make them say, oh, we with your mama's mama's favorite DJ, DJ, oh, we. It's a special show. I added this show, you know what I'm saying, to get this uh this busy man that's sitting next to the right of me in this in this thing. Pretty busy. Um, but that if you guys never heard that song, the song we came in was uh Guap Dad for a thousand. Um God damn I'm him. And it was about a guy named God damn it Dupree. Yes, sir. Oh, you in the building. <laughs> Yes, First sir. of all, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, you know bro, for having me, man. I appreciate it. Real genuine dude yeah, that came in here. You know what I'm saying? Every time I see you, show me love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I walked in the... Um, where was we at? Shout out to my week? boy 211. I was like the last, last time I seen Oh, yeah, yeah, studio. for sure. Yeah. It has you in the, and it's it has you in the trenches. Yeah. And in my trenches. nigga Roosh. Yeah. <laughs> um, man, where, where did we... Where was we just at? At the... um, What event was that? Oh, oh the Ice Square Bezel. Yeah, I'm yeah. side of that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. let me tell y'all, man. The dude, Gene, when I came in... And he seen me. Oh, we was up. What's up? What's happening? I said, okay, yeah, for sure, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people didn't say what's up or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? That's the type of person Dupree is, you know what I'm saying? Producer. So let's jump into it. Where where did the producer thing, where did you get the love for music first? At what age? At what age, bro? Honestly, like, shout out to my pops, Big Dupree. I was like, like, 12, 13, watching him make beats and shit on the waterbed. Remember the waterbed? Yeah, the waterbed. <laughs> Nigga had me sleep on the water. Yeah, I couldn't even sleep. I wake up, hear a beat going crazy. I'm like, yeah. And then he tried to get me on a, you know, a track that I know, you know, nobody would never know about. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't really feeling. I was young. I was on my sports basketball right. shit. Okay. But shit after that, bro. Like I want to say, like right after high school, that's when I turned up. So I want to say like 18, 19. Okay. So why you didn't take the uh, basketball career job? Career. Man, I'm short as fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like five eight. That's what the doctors say, but right. in reality, I'm like five six. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, you got some short niggas in the uh, in the league, though. Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to do all that work. I was cool. Facts. So, yeah. Okay. But, so I would say like oh nine is when I really took it serious. All oh, right. That's when I graduated high school. So right. Nine. Okay. So after high school, what was the steps after that? Um, shit, bro. Really just grinding, man. Shit. Shout out to. Shout out to my boy D's. I was at that nigga crib like all summer. We was just grinding, working on beats. And um, at the time, I was, um, you know what I mean, doing, you know what I'm saying, rocking with my boy uh, Mac Ace. Okay. AKA. Shout out to Mac Ace. Yeah, he know, he, he know what it is. We yeah. was grinding and shit. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We was at his house. So, right. You know what I'm saying, grinding and stuff. But then, like, um, I got in contact with, uh, with Tiger and uh, you know Dash from Copeland. Yeah, 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 for sure. We had we had rocked out and we had got the record uh, bouncing on my dick. Oh, okay. and shout out to Pookie fucking Rude too, cause he he loves to play the part, you know, behind the scenes with that, you know, him and Dash. So they was really the introduction, you know, what I'm saying to me and Tiger through that. Then after that, he tapped in with me on Twitter. Right. Outside of that, and then you know it was a wrap from there. And you just took off from there. Yes, sir. So what? So that was the fr- what? What would you say that was the first artist you worked with? Yeah, that was like the first like major. Major, artist, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so name the like the the little artist you was fucking with. That was uh, you know, you was building with and working at with. the time. Yeah, besides Mike Ace and them, um, shit, I was building shit with my boy JD. So okay. he was grinding. He from Long Beach. Okay, he had some shit popping. Who else I was grinding with? Of course, my boy D Knife, J Nari. Yeah. yeah. Um, shit. Who else? There's a couple of names, man. I can name. You talking about at that time, or you yeah, talking at about that him? Time, yeah, at that yeah, time, yeah. At that time, shit. yeah. We're going to get into it We're going to take it back. We're going to take it back. Yeah, LMKR days. Ooh, I didn't have to say it. Ooh. <laughs> hey, my boy Rocco. Yeah. Shout out to Rocco. Rocco. My boy Doughboy. We did whole tapes. And of course, like I said again, Matt Case. Yeah. Then outside of them, like Body I said. <laughs> oh, yeah. My boy Cap. Cap. How can I Cap. forget about my boy Cap? <laughs> Body Bag Jones. The Shark. He, yeah. Hey, shout out to him. He doing shout his thing. Shout out to him. Keep doing your thing. I think he's in Texas right now. So yeah, stop Do by your thing, bro. Yes. Yeah. Um, who else are I grinding with, bro? Really, honestly, bro, I was dropping my own shit too. Yeah. 
Yeah, shout out to my boy D's on the beat. He had a beat. I dropped this record called Pussy, but I spelled it Puss Y. Oh, okay. P but I spelled it. <laughs> <laughs> Something crazy, bro. Yeah. The record was going up, though. You yeah. feel me? I was just doing my own thing, really, bro. But I feel like after the Tiger shit, that's what really motivated me. It was like, okay, this is about to be serious. And then, of course, from there, I met, like, League of Stars and... So, you know, shout out to them and stuff. And we did yeah. our thing at that time. So within that time span, I got with, like, everybody. Facts. From, you already know, bro. Yeah. T.I., to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go I, ahead and drop your names. Who you been working with? <laughs> who, who you just working with? Shit, love, no. T.I. I'm going to just name names. I don't want to name Right, yeah, 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 for T. sure. T.I., Rick Ross, Jeremiah, um, of course, Tiger. Uh, who else? Um, yeah. Mozzie. I got co-production with Mike Dean and Kanye. Ooh. On this record by Tiger, it's called Ooh. Forty Mil. A lot of people don't Ooh. know about that record, but I co-produced on that. Okay. Who else? Um. Oh wait, hold on. I don't know how I forgot about this. Shout out to my boy Who Kid Woody, man. Hit your Ricky. Kid. That was a, that was a beginning record that got me. Got, you know, that yeah, was fire. <laughs> out the water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the dance. Oh my god, I couldn't do the dance. <laughs> you know? but okay, nah. so when you get placements like that, man, how do you? You know, how do you feel like when somebody big contacts like like you like that? Bro, it's a it's just a blessing, bro. Honestly, I don't you know, I feel like it's it's a it's a thin line between dick riding and networking. So how I look at it like I'm not gonna be the nigga all the nigga comments all the time unless it's my dude, my yeah. boy, I want you know what I'm saying, support him, but like stuff like that, just you know, just reaching out, bro, and just with confidence type shit. Yeah. And I'm the type of dude, like once I get your email, I'm sending beats every day if not every day every week if not every week gonna get a beat at least five beats from dupree a month and the artists know that so <laughs> out here that's how that go <laughs> they gonna hear something they like <laughs> exactly it's tap so they usually tap in with you you would say um i would say it's a little bit of both right i ain't gonna say oh they just tapping in with me but right yeah it's a little bit of both and you not that starstruck uh producer out here you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, I'm sure, man. That's good, man. That but I'm still favorite. fans of my homies, though. I'm still yeah, of fans, course. Of, you know what I mean? Like, even my bro now, like, I, I always, you know what I mean, acknowledge that shit, because yeah. it's just, you know. Genuine. Yeah. Okay, so, when you're when, when you making these these hit records, man, yeah. what, do you, what do you need to get in your zone? Like, Honestly, bro, um, I need Hennessy, and I need... <laughs> Hen dog. Yeah, and I need about um, seven grams. Okay. <laughs> and you cooking? I'm cooking, bro. I swear to God. Give me that. It's a wrap. <laughs> I'm making some shit. I'm making somebody hit. <laughs> oh yeah. You got some hits. Some yeah. major hits. Yeah. Um. That's all I need. Right. And good vibes, of course, bro. You gotta have them good vibes. If not, I ain't making shit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Positive energy too. Yeah. You definitely sure. need that. So how many beats would you say you produce in a week? I'm not gonna say a month. I'm gonna say a week. <laughs> a week? I would say. Or how many beats do you make? I mean, say shit. Shit. I'm going to just go with the first one. Well, a week, I'm going to say probably like about 50. Okay. Or close to it. I ain't going to over-exaggerate. Oh, right. Now, yeah, of be. course not. Yeah. yeah, but about a good <laughs> high 50 because like, each and every day, if I'm not working on something by myself, I'm collabing. You know what I mean? So. Right. Okay. So when you collab, I know you collab well with others. How How yeah. is that? Uh, how is that studio environment? It's great, bro. I always try to, you know, try to have that energy first so they can build off my energy and then from there we can do what we do and the thing with me i let everybody like do what they do like in their lane i never try to take somebody out their lane so if this dude do melody let him do the melody take him off this dude do drums which is me i'm gonna do them drums and they do it this person do the hat they do that you know what i'm saying that's right. how i operate like so i'm like a producer slash a and r coach and shit Okay. I'm getting up and I'm directing. Like, yo, do that, yeah. you should do that. Not like I'm telling people what to do, but no, yeah, facts. I got a vision with this shit. So. Right. Okay. So with all these hits, how do you how do you how do you feel? Do you deserve a um let's just jump over here. Do you deserve a Grammy, you think? Hell I think yeah. you deserve a Grammy. Hell yeah, I deserve a Grammy. Facts. Before the Grammy shit, they need to give me they overdue on the B T awards, the hip hop awards, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for sure, Grammy, they gonna hear that name. They gonna hear that song. And I'm saying it on your shit first. Oh, Grammy yeah. nominated, Facts. platinum producer. To it's coming. It's coming so soon. Hey, you, you, overdue. Overdue. <laughs> Way overdue. Dude been putting in hits for years now. Man. Since 09. Man. Give me respect. 
I would say 2011, man, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about when you first started. It was in you. Yeah, it, it was in on me. you. It, it was, was in me. You. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You okay. Did. So when you, when these big artists like call you to do somewhere, are they calling you like to pull up? Or are they just sending the song back to you when you send the beat? Or, or um, honestly, it's just like a little bit of both. Like for example, I'm gonna give you an example. Like for the Icewear Vessel record, that came about through uh my boy Dane, the boy Dane from the Bay. Right. Yeah. Right. Shout right. out to Dane on that. And um, shit is a viral record. Viral fire in the streets right me, now. He called me. Was like, "Yo, bro, just pull up. I got Icewear Vessel." I'm like, "Okay." He just got out. Like, I heard of him, but I didn't really, you know what I'm saying. So, I, you know, vibed up to some of his shit. So I made something like from scratch, like like the hour before I even went. So I, you know what I mean. So yeah. I went. I played like some West Coast shit. He fucked with it, and I played that. And it was a rap from there, bro. And I pulled up. You know what I mean? Then literally the next night he got Big Sean on the song. Damn. So imagine if I didn't pull up. <laughs> Right. They wouldn't have caught that vibe. Like, hold on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's a blessing right there. Shout out to Dane. I swear. Shout out to Chanel, his Good manager. Shout out to My Chanel. boy, Adrian. Yeah. Facts. Fuzzy fuzz. Fuzzy fuzz. <laughs> Fantabulous. Yes, sir. Shout out to dude, man. Great Okay. Dude. So what is that vibe about? What, what What is that vibe? Or how important is the energy supposed to be in the studio with you, with these big artists? How, how important is that to you, the energy? It's very important, bro. That's why I always try to, like, I always premeditate before I go now. I'll never go to the studio, like, not prepared no more. Because you do that, you automatically setting the tone for the whole vibe. Right. I go in there, beats on flash drive. Like, lately, I don't even go in there with a computer because I know this artist going to fuck with this. Right. And if they don't, they going to fuck with me to fuck with it. You feel me? So that's how I rock with it, bro. Right. Okay. So I feel like you start with the producer, really, because you got some producers that just play beats. They don't talk. They mute. Beats hard as fuck, probably. They don't, you know, me. Right. I'm going to run that shit. It's a conversation piece. Thank you. It's just art we make. Sometimes we just have a whole convo five and play beats. Yeah. <laughs> as you should. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas just walk in like, yo, I got beats. Yeah, here right. we go. What? Here goes a five I want you to listen to and just sit back <laughs> in the couch. Yeah, you like that shit? I that shit hard. Hey, go number three. Yeah, like, nigga. <laughs> how you doing? Like, right. <laughs> right. So, do, so have you met, we're not going to say any names, but have you met any artists was to like, man, okay, your beats is, is cool, you know what I'm saying, but I'm going to pass. Like what you mean, like artists like towards me, like that wasn't, or... Yeah, yeah, like like artists that's either big or small in the game, it's like, okay, your beats is cool, but I really can't, really can't pick one or rock with them. Um, have you, have, let me pull that, let me say it like this. Have yeah, you yeah. Turned, <laughs> have, you, have you ever got turned down just, on your beats? You said who? Turned down, like has anybody turned you down? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say it turned me down, but I mean every producer know that. Oh yeah, send them to my email shit. If yeah. the artist don't record it right then and there, if you don't say pull it up, they know. So yeah, of course. Facts, I didn't know. And that. I never got like discouraged by it. I was just like, oh okay, I now know what I gotta do. Right. So, and I ain't gonna lie, some sessions, some of those sessions, I turned around, and went back to another studio and worked on more beats. Oh uh, yeah, nigga, you didn't like them beats? <laughs> I paid about thirty five. Right. So <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna make about fifty now. Right. <laughs> exactly. So. What is your, what is your highest paid beat? Like, give us a number that you sold a beat to somebody and they bought it. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> we want to know. Get, just give like it. up front. Or are you talking? Nah, about I mean uh, the whole process. It don't matter. Honestly, as of now, I would probably say walk through right now. While we're trying to find a problem. Okay. Honestly, like as of now, you know, balance. You know. Yeah, that was that's gonna do what it do. Yeah, on a whole other level. But for right now, I would say walk through. Like I'm still eating off that, and that came out what 2014. Mm. Thing. Okay, that means the man's working, people. <laughs> he out here working. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like I said, you guys just tune in. That's the Make Him Say Uwe show with DJ Uwe. Wait, God damn it, Dupree. God damn it. Where did the tag come from? How how'd you get the tag? You know what's crazy? We're gonna bring it back to my boy Mac Ace. Okay, Mac Ace. Look, his sister. Ali, shout out to Alex. I call her Ali, but right. Alex, shout out to you. She was on her phone, bro, yeah. like having a conversation with somebody. And I'm like, yo, I need you to just do a tag because I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm I use FL the studios for my beats, and I was using a little computerized robot. God damn it, different. No, but it was saying Dupree on the beat. Yo, oh, okay. <laughs> like beginners, like hella corny. So I'm like, I need something different, something that's gonna stand out, like the world gonna feel. Right. She said a couple things when she said that. God damn it, Dupree. I was like. That's it. We own to something. Right. And we had now 2000, you know what I'm saying? 19. I was like 2000. 
11, 2010? Yeah. Shout out to uh, Alex on that. Shout out to her. <laughs> she got you one. The whole world love you. Yeah. Love your voice. <laughs> For sure. That's dope. Uh, what producers in the game are you looking up to right now? Well, who are you rocking with? Like, who so I'm rocking with, bro? Of course I'm rocking with my dogs, man. My boy, my, my dog, Be Nice. Sorry, Jay nice. Nari. Uh, my boy, C Beats. My boy, Extendo. You know, um, my boy, uh, who else? Got my boy, Davo. You know, he over there with Mozzie and them. Right, okay. Uh, my boy, Authentic. Uh, Authentic. It's a couple of guys. Sure. You, you see names, I'm saying. It's yeah. like um, people around me. Right. Really, I don't really... You know, of course, I like the, the you know, the big producers, mm -hmm. but I can't really say I'm inspired by them if I'm not around them. Right. Facts. You feel me? And I only listen to my niggas half the yeah. time, so, you feel me? Facts. And uh, honestly, I, I like some of the new cast. I don't really be around like that, like Loader Great. Okay. Ron Ron and uh, my boy, uh, oh, I forgot my dog, my boy Mike Crooks, man. So Mike I Crooks. Mike Crooks. Bleed him. <laughs> he going crazy with Blue Fresh. Shout out to my boy Mike Crooks, man. That's yeah. my dog, so. Shout out to Bruce. I like Bruce too. Oh yeah, Bruce. 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 Serve some of that yeah. Bruce though, Bruce. Bruce. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Bruce. I love his beats, man. He yeah. did this one beat by this uh, unnamed artist that I need to look up after yeah. this interview. Right. Shout out to him because his beats be crazy. He be giving them to some artists. Yeah. And uh, more looks. who's that other producer that I like? Papa got beats on God. Oh, Papa got beats on God. I like yeah. him, bro. He's Hard, really dope. Bro. You. Oh, yeah. Thank you, bro. A lot of them cats you name, I haven't met them like formally, but yeah. I've seen them. We didn't retweet each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I rock with all of them, bro. Yeah. And of course, you know, like the big dog, like Mustard, right. all them hit boy. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, when it really come down to it, probably listen to like my nigga shit and like old school shit. Right. Old for real. Right. The shit you playing right now, Buster Rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Yeah, come you on. <laughs> Um, really? What's that other producer? Uh, shout out to Romo over there. With oh, Ruchi. Romo. Oh, man. Young, see so young, many young producers. Dude, dude, and my boy, Beat you. Boy. Beat Boy. Shout out to my boy, For Beat sure. Boy, man. I can't forget my boy, Beat Boy. He's nice. Yeah. yeah. He's nice. So, uh, who else? Who you working with right now, man? Um, if, you, if you can say. I can say a few. Okay, for sure. Of course, I got my boy, I swear. We got this balance going up right now. Going heavy. Going crazy, bro. Y'all don't even know when the video come out. I wasn't there, but I heard it's like a movie. Like, right. When it come out, it's going to change the game. Right. Um, me and Ice were working on more shit. Um, what else? I'm working on shit with uh with Mozzie. Working shit with Mozzie right now. Got some shit with Tiger. And um, I ain't gonna say the other name. Yeah, of just course. know. Yeah, just know. When it come out, it's top forty. I'm speaking that to the world to existence. For I sure. said it to my homies, so my boy yeah. JD's and them, all them. But I'm speaking that to the world. That's top forty. Facts. Who else? Um, who else am I working with? Oh, the game. Okay. Got some shit with YG coming. Okay. And my boy, uh, you heard of a new R&B artist named Osiris? I believe so. He's pretty yeah. dope. I got some shit with him coming. And oh, shout out to my, a new artist named TJ. He under Davo. Okay. And Mozzie and he's really dope. I got some, you know, some more shit coming with him. He just dropped the tape. And I got three records on there. Co-produced with my boy Extendo. So. You, are you working, man? Working, working, You're bro. definitely working, man. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. Thank and you, all, bro. Uh, all the things you've been going through seeing you know what i'm saying being from you know what i'm saying i mean being from a group yeah. and going solo so how how'd that happen if we could just speak on that a little bit like you know honestly what I'm saying? that's not nothing like that i mean at the end of the day like everything's still cool it was just yeah. on some like everybody just growing up and just right. wanna, you know what i'm saying pursue their own thing you know right. what i mean but it's still cool everything's Facts. still good and we, uh, shout out to everybody in that right league of stars shout yeah. out to them seriously um that's good bro who 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 would you like to work with that you haven't worked with yet? I want to work with. I don't want to work. That's too many people, bro. But just off the rip, I need one with. Uh, I need one with Wayne. Oh. Mm. I don't care, man. That's Life just changing. One. I need that Wayne, and I need that, and I need that Drake. Okay. Give me that Drake. Facts. That's really it, bro. Honestly, <laughs> right now. Right. Okay. That's what's up, bro. So we at the party show. If you just tune in, I'll make them say Uwe with your mama's mama's Ooh, favorite DJ, wee. DJ Uwe. We got my bro and my brother. Yes, sir. My homie. God damn it, Dupree in the building with me tonight. God damn And uh, we asked you about the music. We went through that. went through your career. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. But we at the time of the hour where we play a little game. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. It brings you away from the music. It brings you away from stepping out of your comfort zone. I'm just asking you questions. You know what I'm saying? See right. if you get it. Um, I wouldn't say I'm undefeated. I think I had like one artist to beat me so mm -hmm. far. 
That was Asia. Shout out to her from Compton, Princeton. Oh, well, I got some shit with her coming too. Shout out to Facts. Asia. Man, Facts. she's really gotcha. dope. Dope. Okay. So all these questions you know, I'm going to ask you, they, some, some may be saying, some may be riddles, but it's your answer and we just going to vibe out, right? Sure. So I'm welcome you to Uwe's Trivia. Oh, sure. Okay. So first question. <clears throat> I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? Damn. Um, <laughs> all right. You wanna? I think I'm uh, the second one. Okay, cool. Um, the answer is the candle. Yeah. I'm tall when I'm I young. Definitely when and I'm got old when shit. I'm short. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Who the fuck? Okay, yeah. Next okay. one. I wouldn't have got that. What has a head and a tail but no body? Yeah, uh, man, I can't say that I'm about to say it. Seems crazy. Hey, say what you guys say. Uh, octopus. Okay. <laughs> That's what you going with. What you say? You got an answer. Is it an object? This is. What has a head and a tail but no body? Yeah. A coin. Oh, got it. Damn. No, it's because I do this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> I never asked that question, but you got it, though. Hey, you sure. nice, see? Yeah. Hey, just you got to think the outside the box. Yeah, you got to think outside the box. Yeah. Damn. Okay. What I kind of thinking animal. <laughs> right. What what kind of tree can you carry in, in your hand? Yeah. Weed. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that answer. Really? All right, cool. Yeah, I'll take that answer. Yeah. Uh, but the answer they got over here is uh, a palm. <laughs> yeah, I would have got palm tree. Oh. Yeah. I guess it kind of, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. A girl who was just learning how to drive went down a one-way street in the wrong direction, but didn't break the law. How come? Because it was a one-way street, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm going to read it again. <laughs> a girl who was just learning how to drive went down a one-way street right. in the wrong direction, but she oh, didn't shit. break the law. How come? Oh, because she didn't know how to drive? No, no, because it was her first time driving? No. Okay, cool. What you got? I sound so judgmental. Like, no, I don't have the answer. I don't okay. know. Okay, you have an answer over there. <laughs> um, the, answer because, too far the answer was because she was walking. Oh, that's so dumb. It is. Thank you. All right, all right. I'm like, oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah. What goes up and down but remains in the same place? Up and down. Um, a piece of paper? No, 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 no. A piece of tissue. No, I really don't because that shit... Yeah, that shit, shit wiggles and shit. Oh, fuck. Ups and downs yeah. remains in the same place. Exactly. Yeah. You said, I like what you said. I got to think outside the box. Yeah. Um, one mm. of my son's toys. Okay, cool. I'll take that. An elevator? No, the stairs. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Oh, we. <laughs> that was a good one. I feel like we should have had that. <laughs> Damn. You knew that one? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If there are 12 fish and half of them drown, how many are there left? They're all alive because they're in the water, right? They yeah. don't drown. They can't drown. Facts. Oh, you got that one. Air five. You got that. <laughs> you got that. Uh-huh. God damn. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, let, let's pull up some some other stuff. Do you find these or do you make these up? Some I find. Some I make up. Yeah, I think yeah, some of them was made up. Yeah. For sure. Okay. I ain't never heard none of those. Yeah. Um, okay. Spell Mississippi. And my phone ring, huh? Are you a busy man? Hold on, let me just take this quick FaceTime. Sorry, y'all. Okay, cool. If you oh, just yeah, tune in, you uh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Dupree. Yeah. Um, spell Mississippi for me. M I S S I T P I. Okay. Yeah. Mississippi. Mississippi, yeah. I always think of like the, was it the elementary? Like M I S S I S S I T P I. That's right. spell it. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. So I kind of basically got it right? Yeah, you got it right. Who was our 44th president? I don't know. Obama. Oh! If I don't know nothing, I don't know that shit. Did you say you don't know? No, I don't know the number, the sequential numbers. Wow. My bad. Right Barack back. Obama, though. Okay, I got it. Yeah. 44? Yeah, Pre got it. 4 4. Okay. I gotta give it to him. 44. Okay. Come on, man. Yeah, for sure. What three countries make up North America? Damn. Okay, North America, 
three countries. There's Canada, United States, and Mexico. Dang. Maybe she's got to answer first. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you was looking at her. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. That's my answer. All right. We on team today. <laughs> what two colors make up the color red? That's easy. Um, For sure. Why are you looking at me? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, purple and green. Damn. Red? Nah. No color makes any more red. going to make red. Red is just a solid color. I want to thank you for playing uh, Uwe's trivia. <laughs> I no. think you made that one. Up. No, it's, it was an answer. You could look that up. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, shout out where we could find you. Feel hey, free. You can find me at on Instagram, K I N G G D D D King G D D. That's right. Instagram, my my Twitter is Dupree D U P R I one underscore, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Facts. I want to thank you. If y'all want beef, get at me on Instagram. For sure. I'm gonna need some. Um, I told this artist last week. Uh, May 23rd is my birthday, and then May. Man, my birthday May. was just on Sunday on the 10th. I was just out of it. Yeah. You was. I got back to me all day and shit. I was like this nigga. <laughs> but you got back to me. I appreciate that. Yeah, bro. Come nigga. on, man. That's um, cool. but I told the artist last week that in May, May 23rd is my birthday, and I'm gonna be coming out with an album. So. I need some on there. Come on. Damn, he said that too. Yeah. Hey guys, I got real friends out here, man. <laughs> so appreciate it. Thank you. Um, okay, but thank you for coming on the show. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go to a commercial break. Before we go to a commercial break, though, we'll be back with Uwe's spoken word, motivation of the week. I want to thank the priest for coming through. Yes, sir. Um, thank and we you brought for his me, bro. single, I swear, Bizzo, Future, and Big Sean, and it's called Balance. So we'll be back in a second. Yes, sir. Is it on there? Oh, shit. We on. All right. This one I want for everybody back to make them say, Ooh, we with your mama's mama's favorite DJ, DJ Ooh, we. First and foremost, I always want to thank my guest, man, a uh, special guest that came through tonight, man. God damn it, Dupree. Um, go get his projects, man. Go get that new record, Ice Water, Bezo, featuring Big Sean called Balance, produced by my boy. I don't know call him DJ Dupree, but um, <laughs> produced by my boy, God damn it, Dupree. Um, thank you for coming through, bro. Appreciate it. Showing love on the show, but this is a time and an hour where I have a spoken word of motivation. Um, first and foremost, always believe in yourself no matter what. Doesn't matter. Um, but let me see, let me find it. Oh, hold on, let me find it. Um, the word I chose this week and motivation on the side, but lazy. A lot of people are lazy. A lot of people are not gonna go in a place because they're lazy. Um, shout out to the manager of Nine Studios. She showed me something and told me tonight that, you know what I'm saying, she doesn't I'm not saying you don't like to have fun, but you rather stay busy. Um, that is a non-lazy person. Um, she has a career. She does this on the side. She has another two other businesses she has. And, uh, you know, I'm just using her as a as an example because, you know, don't be like her, but kind of be like her. Or, you know what I'm saying, have her momentum to move in life. Never be lazy. Lazy people do not succeed. They do not get in a place, and they do not believe in themselves at all. So don't be lazy. Um... First thing I wrote, never give up on yourself, even when you feel that people around you ain't around for the right reasons, and that's to see you make it. Change a, change a, uh, your circle, up. make it a square or a triangle or a different shape, you know what I'm saying? If people don't support you, if they're not rocking with you, if they're not pushing you like you're pushing them, it's time to let go and cut ties. Black culture is pop culture. We create the trends. We are the, we are the influence. We are the culture. Don't let that go over your head, you know what I'm saying? Just not our race, but, you know, sometimes our race is played the most, and uh, but want to be the most, I should say that. Um, another thing I said, deleting apps and erasing things that lower your mood, writing down traits of the person you genuinely wish to become, finding a balance in life, do not be too generous or overdo anything. Notice the toxic energies that drain you and try to avoid them as best as you can. Simple, point blank, period. Um, stop giving people your energy that don't de that don't deserve it. Start being around people with the greatest energy in the world, so you can thrive. Um, this year is about thriving. It's not about failing. Um, if you do fail, that's okay too. But learn from them fails, learn from the losses, and turn that L to a lesson and not a loss. Don't let that go over your head. 
Um, I can promise you this. If you chase money and not your purpose, you're going to work forever. A lot of people in the industry, they show diamonds, jewelry, they show a lot of money. Sometimes that money is prop money, but they have you guys believe like it's real money. Um, don't let that motivate you. Don't do anything for money. Do things because you love to do it. You're passionate about it. This is your love. This is what you've been wanting to do through the, um, you know, the loops and holes that you've been going through with life. Do what you want to do. And then once you find that love and passion, ride with it. Ride through it, the tunnel, ride through the storm, ride through the stormy weather. Because you're going to make it through and the sun's going to be shining. And guess what that sun's going to bring you? The most money that you ever imagined in your life because you worked hard for it. You wasn't lazy, going back to my first point of view. But never do nothing for money. Do not chase money. Do not chase people. Chase dreams, goals, aspiration. Accomplish them and execute them at all costs. All costs do it. Um, I think that's it. Um, follow me, DJ Uwe, <laughs> DJ 4 O's double E E, Instagram, Twitter, the same way. Um, subscribe to, oh subscribe to my YouTube please subscribe to my YouTube if you're listening in or you're going to catch this show subscribe to my YouTube YouTube channel um, YouTube search DJ Uwe um, look at my SoundCloud SoundCloud search DJ Uwe I just dropped a new project on there called uh, Uwe's Madness because um, inspired by March Madness is one of my favorite sports but it's called Uwe Madness you know what I'm saying go check that out go check out the Sonny Drip on there um and just go check out my Instagram, period, and YouTube. That's what I'm rocking with right now. Um, to book me, um, check out my Instagram. My email's in there. New artists or artists that want to work with me. Um, I work with everybody, all genres of music. I'm really an EDM DJ, but I'm just on the hip-hop side, like I always say. But I work with everybody, so I'm going to work with more artists. So my email is dj 4 os double e e going viral at gmail.com. Send me music, whether it sucks, it's good. It's bad, it doesn't matter. I still want to hear it. And I'm the type of DJ I'm going to give you explicit, but strenuous, but great, exciting, real deal news about your record. If you suck, I'm going to tell you. But that should show you to go back in the studio and do better and better and better. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, you guys can listen to my show um, next. Oh, tomorrow I'm on. Yeah, today's Thursday. Oh, my God. Um, I was blessed with a show this week. So like I said, keep following your dreams. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you your energy is high, your energy is positive, people around you are going to, you know, feed you what you want. Um, because they have no problem doing it because you're you're a great person. Um so I'll be back tomorrow. I got another guest tomorrow. And uh, like I said, follow me, DJ Uwe, 4 O Double E E. Um the record I'm about to drop or go out on is this wonderful artist named S K A A. Um what song is that? Song get it wrong. I don't know. It's going up. Or Oh, come through. Come through. <laughs> okay. That's right. Like I said, so turn in tune in tomorrow night at my regular time, 8 30 to 9 30 p.m. Um, with your mama's mama's favorite DJ, DJ Oh, we gonna leave you guys with the new record from SKAA. Come through. See you guys tomorrow. Love. DJ Ori.